Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn how to build this application. It's a small clicker game, right? So basically you click on start and it, you have a few seconds to um, click on the screen anywhere, right? As soon as the time expires, I think at the moment it's three seconds, the clicks are counted and you get a record and you can start your game again, right? So you can click as many times as you can and you get a pop-up here that says how many times you click. If you click more than the record, then that should uh, store your record there. Okay, so you get the record here. Okay, so it's a quick, simple game um, just to kind of get you started and practicing Android. Okay, so let's get started building this application. So first of all, I'm gonna open up my Android Studio. Okay, and here we're gonna create a new project. We're gonna select empty activity we're going to give it a name, whatever you like. I'm going to say clicker um, game. Okay, just uh, whatever name you like. It doesn't really matter and click finish. And then we're going to just wait a little bit for Android Studio to finish building our project. Once that is done, we're going to get started with, uh, first of all, creating the UI, the interface. Okay, so I'm going to click on my main activity. Let me just close this panel here. And here you have multiple options. You have code, you have split, where as soon as this finishes building, we're gonna see a, a display of our UI. So there we go, we simply have a hello world here. And then we have a design which is only focused on this. So for now, let's keep it on split. Now I have my hello world. Um, what I want to do here first, I want to just grab this and slide it a little bit higher up, okay? And here you'll get new um, new information, right? So what we want to do is we want to even it out right in the center, right? So I'm going to remove this horizontal bias. Just remove that. And then the vertical bias, I'm going to leave it at 0 0.25. Okay, so that will kind of put it here at the top. Now, instead of hello world, I'm going to, I'm going to type clicks. Okay, so that is going to give me the number of clicks that I have, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and add a few more elements to our screen. I'm gonna go to my design. I'm gonna click and drag the text view and I'm gonna set the constraints. So the right-hand side to the right edge of the screen, left-hand side to the left. You can see that it's positioned in the middle now. And here I want to grab the constraint and put it to the bottom of this previous element that I had, okay? So if I look in the code, I get the constraint to bottom of the text view number two that I had here, okay? So let's change a few things. We can even split this here. So uh, for the text view, I'm gonna give it a different name. So I'm gonna say something like uh, counter TV for text view. The text is gonna be zero by default. And here I wanna, it's, for me, it's too close to the previous one. So I want to give it a bit of space. So let's go to design. You can do this in multiple ways, but I guess the easiest way, if you've never done this before, go to design and you have here on the right side, all the parameters, scroll down and we're gonna search for margin. Okay, so, uh, or layout underscore margin. Okay, we can find it here. If I expand that, I'm going to get, let me just make this panel slightly larger. I have margin top. Okay, I'm going to put here a 20 dp margin. Okay, so if I go back to split, you can see there's a bit of a distance there. So I have my margin here. Now we're going to reuse this 20 dp version. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it, click option return on my Mac or uh, alt enter on the PC, as you can see down below here. And I'm going to click on extract dimension resource and I'm going to call this margin. Very simple. Okay, so I have my text, I have my margin. What else do I need? Let me just increase the text size here. So I'm going to say text size. You can also find it in the parameters in the design if you want to look for it there. But here the text size is going to be, uh, let's say 40 SP. Okay, 40 SP. We can see now that it's slightly larger and more clear. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to extract the uh, value. So uh, extract dimension resource and click size. Let's call it that. Okay, so I have my two elements. Now I need another button 
I need a button that will allow me to start my game. So here, uh, under design, in the left side, I have button. I'm going to click and drag. Again, position it in the center horizontally and just below the previous element that I had here. Okay, let me go to split. And here we can actually just copy uh, these values. So I'm going to copy the margin top. Okay, that will just position it slightly lower. And the text of my button is going to be start. Okay, so that is my button. Let's not worry about the click for now. Um, let's just complete the interface, the UI. What I want to do is I want to add two more fields, one similar to this one for my record and the value for my record. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, grab another text view, put it in the middle, attach it to the bottom of start. Let's go to split. And here um, in the text, I'm going to say uh, something like record. Okay, margin top again, copy and paste that. And then I need one more element, very similar to this one. So it's going to be another text view. Put it in the middle horizontally, attach it to the bottom of record, paste the margin again, and here I'm just going to have zero. And here I need to copy as well the text size that I had for the other one. Okay, so there we go, we have our UI. Now there's a couple things that I need to do here for the UI. So first of all, what happens when we click on the start button? Well, it's quite simple. We're going to go to main activity and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare. Um, let me just close that, open the project. We don't actually need that, but I like this a bit more in the center. Um, so we're going to declare a function um, called fun on start or rather on start button click. Now we can't define a on start method because that already exists and we are going to override that if we need to. But on start button click and the parameter here has to be a parameter of type view. Make sure you import the Android view here. Okay, so that if we go back to our um, activity main interface in the button, we're going to have an on click method that gives us the on start button click. So that means whenever we click on this button, this method will be invoked. Okay, so this allows us to start the game. We also need another method to intercept the clicks that the user is going to do to increase this counter. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another method. This is going to be on, uh, let's call this fun on screen click. And that's also going to be a V of type view. And this is going to be attached to the layout at the top. Okay, so that we intercept uh, clicks on the screen. So on click, I'm going to have um, on screen click here. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the UI. Now we're going to need to update uh, our code here. So first of all, um, here I'm going to have a few variables at the top. So private var click counter and that's going to be zero by default. So obviously this will count how many clicks I am doing right for each run of our game. Um, private var record which is going to store my record value and private var running equals false by default. So this will simply tell me if my game is running or not. Okay, so on start button click has some um, logic inside. So I'm going to say if I am not running. So if I'm running, obviously, I shouldn't be able to click on this button. Okay, so if I'm not running, then I'm going to say start button. Uh, let's see what's the name what's the ID of my button. Let's call this start button. And since we've updated this value, we need to update this um, relationship here as well, right? Start button. Okay, so I have my start button dot is enabled equals false. So I'm just going to disable the button if I'm running. 
then uh, my click counter is going to go to zero because I'm just starting my game. The running is going to be true and counter TV, counter TV, which is my counter here. So this, okay, so this dot text is going to be click counter dot to string. So I'm putting the value of click counter into the counter text. Now, what I need to do is I need to um, create some sort of loop that allows me to count or rather get the time until the game is over. So for that, we're going to use a handler and a looper. Okay, so I'm just going to define a handler. So you have one in Android OS, we're going to use that. And inside here, we're going to say looper dot get main looper. Okay, dot post delayed. So that simply allows us to run some uh, code when a timeout occurs. And here, we're going to have a runnable, which is simply going to be um, double uh, curly brackets, and then the delay. I'm going to put 3000 milliseconds, that is three seconds for now. Okay, now in our um, code here, so in our post delay, we need to run something. So this is what's going to be run when the delay is finished. Okay, so what I want to have here is I simply want to have a method that I can call. So let me define a method here down below. I'm going to say private fun on finish. Okay, and I'm going to simply call on finish here in my handler. Okay, in my code. So this is going to run after 3000 milliseconds, that is three seconds. Okay, so that's for the on start button. Now, what happened in on screen click? So when I click on the screen, we need to record those clicks. Okay, so I'm going to say if running, then my click counter is obviously going to increase by one or increment. And then counter TV dot text is going to be click counter dot to string. So I'm simply updating the text of my counter text view. Okay, so that's all for the on screen click. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to do the on finish. So what happens when the timer runs out and we get a call back to our application? Well, here, first of all, let's make a toast dot make text this for the context. Now here we need to pass a message. So let's say finished, you clicked dollar uh, click counter times. Okay, so you clicked a certain number of times, we're going to have toast dot length short. And then we're going to show it. Okay, so we're just going to do a pop up to tell the user how many times they clicked. Okay, now we're going to say if record smaller than click counter, then we need to set that record um, value as well. So record TV. Uh, let's see what the name of that text view is. Right at the bottom, we have our record holder. So I'm going to call this record TV. Okay, so record TV dot text is going to be um, so hold on, let's just put curly brackets here. So I'm going to say record equals click counter. And then record TV dot text is record dot to string. Okay, so we're just um, storing the record. And then uh, we are displaying this value here. Okay, now, uh, once we have that, we're going to say start button dot is enabled. So we need to re enable the button true. And then running is going to be false. Okay, so basically, we are resetting everything. And we're just displaying what we need to display. So then, since this is not running, then we can again click on the button and we can restart the whole process. 
So that's all for the application. That's all for the UI. Unless I've made a mistake, I think this should work fine. So let me just uh, choose a Nexus 5X here and just run my application. And let's check it out. Let's see how well our code runs. It should take not too long until the code is running. Let's have a look. Okay, so we have our application. We're gonna click start and start to click. We can see the counter increasing. After three seconds, we get finished. You click six times. If I click more than six times, okay, eight times, then finished, you clicked eight times, the record has been updated. And you can see the button has been re-enabled. Once we start, we cannot re-click on this button because it's pretty much disabled. If the clicks are lower than the record, obviously this is not going to be updated based on our logic here. Right, so that that's it for this video, guys. That is the game. Um, I know it's quite a simple application, but it does show you a few things about Android development, mainly how you, you create a UI and how you work with constraint layouts, how you work with um, clicks, okay? How you um, work with buttons, and then a bit of a logic here and how you can get a callback after a certain time in your application. Now, if you want more information, go ahead and check out the description where I put some links where you can get more info on general Android development um, stuff that I built myself. So have a look at that. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.